On the horses, the odds are two to one. <laughs> I said get my good side. Alright, you look, so it's my first day back, right? Filming and I feel like I ain't recorded a lot. Like I'm just not used to filming. I feel like I've got not used to it in this time that I've spent not recording. But yeah, uh, I took a couple chairs today, okay? I took two to be specific. Now, I did say in the other video what the plan was with the funded account or the trading side, right? The video from yesterday. But basically, I took two trades. One trade was um, on GBPJPY. And my first trade, right? And my plan with that was to risk 2% on my account. And yeah, it, it didn't go well. I think I lost on that. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't think I did lose on that. I, lo I lost like 1.5%, right? But because they have commission, it ended up being nearly 2% or whatever. Um, then I took one more trade and that was also a loss. So now in total, we're like 3% down in the account. I'm confident we can make it back. Okay, my plan is to risk 1% and then, um, yeah, build it up risk one percent i don't know bro but it's been a it's been a bad day so far it's been a long day i'm tired but yeah my plan is to risk one percent for my next trade hopefully catch a nice trade and then um see if we can make a bit of money i can't lie because it's not looking good right now man it's not looking good so i'm gonna try to see if i can catch any pm session trades but um i'm not too hopeful right now if i'm being honest but yeah Let's see what we can do, man. All right, guys, right now I'm currently looking at US 30. Um, yeah, some longs. The daily low got taken, so liquidity got taken. So I'm just waiting for a, a break of structure of some sort to the upside for a fair value gap. And then we're going to ride it up to this four hourly fair value gap, one hourly fair value gap and whatnot. So, yeah, uh, we're looking for longs and our stop will cover that. I think I should get a better entry somewhere around there and then our stop will be a bit tighter. But for now, this is um, what we're seeing on US 30. Currently uh, in some NAS longs, NAS 100, right? One thing that I'm kind of scared of here is on a position, like I was trying to calculate my lot size and it's really hard. Like, and I'm kind of scared at over leveraged. I won't even lie to you guys. I'm a bit scared right now, but I'm managing the trade. So let's see how this goes. But yeah, I am a bit scared. I won't even lie to you lots. Yeah. I, I, I just realized I didn't even explain it to you lots. The reason I over leveraged on, I literally went on like loads of different websites trying to work it out. Right. And there's no NAS 100. Like every time I put in NAS 100, nothing comes up or like us 100 because i know that it gets called that sometimes uh nothing comes up so i thought it was the same as us 30. so i worked it out on us 30 and it ended up being like a two point something lot right if i was risking a certain amount so i was just like okay let me let me enter with a um one lot because two lot i don't know i feel like if it's not the same i'd rather under leverage than over leverage right so i entered with a one lot but one lot I, I feel like it's still a lot but yeah let's see how this plays out um it's a one to three so yeah and i i've got a tight stop loss i'm not too scared but yeah i tightened my stop loss initially my stop loss was way low it's like yeah i wanted to but i was just like nah let me let me pattern up and make it tighter because it does look like i over leveraged and i don't want to risk that do you know what i'm saying Guys, we are running nicely in profit, but I just wanted to quickly come on here and say I realized that over leverage, so I made sure I put my stop loss at break even. We're currently in profit, and I'm aware that I could retrace, right? But I did over leverage, okay? So I put my stop loss around break even. So even if it does come back, um, yeah, I'm protected. I'm not like really losing anything crazy. Why well, I won't lose anything at all, actually guys i decided to close out the trade while i was still in a bit of profit but um yeah 
we made a good amount of money on that trade so i'm i made about two and a half percent which brings me back to nearly break even i'm like a bit away from break even um so yeah we'll see if there's anything else nice but we've already caught a decent trade for today and i don't want to get greedy so if i see anything good enough i'll take it but if it's not worth taking then i don't think i will uh guys quick little update on the trade i said i'm going to take or i might not take or whatever i was waffling on about um i ended up taking a trade that i thought was really good um i guess everyone thinks that when they're taking a trade right so i ended up taking that trade and it didn't play out i ended up losing i think just around one percent so i'm down two percent so i'm still up right i'm still up i'm down two percent and i lost one percent on that trade so it's a bit unfortunate but yeah a bit of an l man it literally is an l there's no better way of saying it what i'm probably going to do now is um edit the rest of this video it's 10 p.m so i, I want to get these videos out on time i, I don't want to keep slacking like i did for a while so yeah i want to get these videos out so i'm going to start editing now but one thing I'll probably do before I start editing is probably journal my trades. Like I got this book from school. Um, you know what? I'll just show you. Look, guys, this is the book I was talking about. I managed to finesse it from school, but yeah, uh, I use it to journal my trades and just write what I'm thinking. At my people i finished journaling and wrote down all the mistakes i made and what i don't want to do for tomorrow so i can keep this account and pass it um just some rules like don't trade if you've lost two percent don't take more than a certain amount of trades don't do this or don't have fear of missing out if this happens and only take this chance if this happens you know what i'm saying so yeah some ground rules for me to follow and hopefully maintain the account one thing I'm going to try to do is before I um, start trading every day, just read what I wrote from the day before so I don't make the same mistakes. Just as a reminder, you get me? It is currently nearly 11 p.m. So I'm going to end the video here. I spent a bit of my time um, editing the rest of the video. I've still got to make the thumbnail. But yeah, I'm going to end the video here. It's been a good first video. It's been a good warm up into like the YouTube stepping stepping back into youtube um that's literally all i have to say but yeah on the content side of things i did post my daily yeah like i was saying on the content side of things i still posted my one reel a day my one short per day um i didn't post on tiktok because i the video i made i didn't feel like suited tiktok i didn't think it would do well but yeah i didn't post on that but yeah i'm ending the video here completed most of what i want to do um tomorrow morning i'm gonna go into school a bit late and i'm probably gonna wake up still same time so i can end up trading during london session which i haven't done in a while so yeah that's gonna be good for tomorrow's episode and yeah man safe please subscribe like and do all of that um and join the journey man see you tomorrow